Fantasy football drafts are taking places around the nation with the NFL season set to kick off in just two short weeks. All right, here we go. The industry has seen an incredible amount of growth, rising nearly 400% in the past decade and is expected to generate over a billion dollars worth of revenue this year alone. The guy at the helm of it all joining us now is the CEO of DraftKings, Jason Robbins. DraftKings is the new kid on the block in the fantasy sports sector, offering players the opportunity to play on a week by week basis. Jason, good morning to you. First off, everybody wants to know what kind of prize money are we talking about here? Uh, How much are you going to hand out this year? Uh, We will hand out in the billions in prizes this year. Billions. And week one, we have. Yeah, billions. In week one, we have two very exciting games you can sign up for right now. Uh, one is $20 to enter, $10 million in prizes, and uh, pays $2 million to first, $1 million to second. Uh, and the other one is only $3 to enter and has $1 million in prizes, including a uh, six-figure top prize. So how many participants do you have to get to a purse that size? Well, the game that, that uh, is $10 million has about 580,000 entries that will be in it. Um, and there will be millions of people playing on DraftKings. What's your year. profit margin? Uh, well, we're not actually focused on profit right now. We're really focused on growing the, the user base and providing a superior customer experience. I just so, wonder, I, um, I, David Webb's I, making I fun of me. I call BS on this one. For, you fo- what? Not focused on profit? If you don't make money, you don't survive. Yeah. I mean, let's call it what well, it is. Well, in the long run, you're absolutely right. We, we, we want to make money, but we're, as uh, you mentioned, we're, we're the new kid on the block. We're focused on growing our customer base. Uh, and I'm providing experience that will make people stay with us for years and years. And um, it's really very similar to how Facebook thought about it in the beginning. I remember reading interviews with Mark Zuckerberg where he talked about how everyone was putting pressure on him to start putting ads on the site and things like that. And he said, right now, I'm just about maximizing how many people I have Here's on Facebook. Here's a couple of elements I, I see here. I just, you know, okay, you've got who's consuming this, the young. You, so you've got the young people, millennials mostly in this. How they consume it, they consume it on these devices. They consume media. So you can get them here. Now, Do you I, play, by the way? I, I don't play, but I'll tell you what, it's serious. Our, our fantasy sports channels, they're going 24-7. People are into this. 40% of millennials are unemployed. I look at who consumes, who uses this. 40% of millennials are unemployed. They have a lot of time on their hands. And you're doing a week by week, which tells me that short attention span <laughs> likely is a good thing to get people in to try this out. Yeah, that's the beauty of it is you can come try it for one play and one day or one weekend. And if you don't like it, you never have to play again. And then again. you hook them in. It's not the same. Hey, Jason, yeah, how exa- many, well, well, Jason, how many of, your cu- of your customers or people who play do it professionally? Like that's their job. Oh, very, very. I mean, a fraction of a fraction of a percent. There are people who are good enough to do it professionally, but... It's like 0.01% of okay. the people playing. Most of the people who are playing are f- playing for fun, and they're the same people that are competing in their season-long leagues with their friends so Jason, or their co-workers. How, how, how old That's are really you, the by the way? I'm 34. Are, is, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot with that, but I'm just I, obviously <laughs> okay. you kind of fall into the millennial generation. Um, yeah. Is, is Mark Zuckerberg your idol on this? Like, Are, are you oh. watching his steps? Oh, of course. Mark is uh, amazing. I mean, talk about uh, some. How could Mark not be? I mean, look what he's done. And he, he did it with vision, which is really what any, any entrepreneur wants to do, is to have a big vision and to be able to have the good fortune of having the, the talent and people around them to be able to go out and create that. And um, much like Facebook, we're just all about customer experience and all about getting people to spend as much time as possible. And about making money. Come on, admit it. Admit it. It's about right, making money. It. <laughs> own it, Jason. I, I wish I could tell you that. But, Mark you know, Zuckerberg did it for money, and he's your idol. Money. Jason Robbins, good luck with the season. Good luck to you guys. Draft Kings, fantasy football. Next hour, 10 hours.